Hello YouTube, New Witch Classic Gamer here, and finally, welcome to my favorite game of all time. That's right, this is Sonic 3 Knuckles. Yeah, kind of an odd and clunky name for such a game, but you know what? It doesn't matter. It's an awesome game, and that's all that matters. And, um, let's delete a file here, because, oh, keep hitting the wrong button. This is a GameCube collection, and the buttons are a little screwy. My apologies. But yeah, I kind of need to delete a file here, so let's take care of this one. And we'll play Sonic and Tails. So the story of this game is pretty simple, but more complex than the other two games. It starts off with riding the plane, and the Death Egg is crashed from Sonic 2, and it's hit Angel Island, which has fallen to the ground. And Sonic shows up, and we get hit by Knuckles, who steals all of our Chaos Emeralds, like a jerk. And he's a new character in this game, just like Tails was in the new character for Sonic 2. And I have a lot to talk about here, and a lot of stuff to explain, so if I miss some things, I apologize. So basically the gameplay is pretty much identical to Sonic 2's and Sonic 1's, except now we have the Insta Shield, which makes quick work of enemies because it like extends your range a bit, makes you invincible and stuff. And special stages are another key difference in this game compared to the other two. Instead of checkpoints or giant rings at the end of the level, there's giant rings hidden in the levels. And of course they're there to get to the special stages. And the point of these ones is to get the blue spheres, turn them into red spheres, and don't touch the red spheres after the blue ones are turned into red. Pretty simple, but um, they can get pretty complex the patterns later, so it's simple but difficult to master. And as you can see, it's kind of an isometric 3D view, but in my opinion, these are the best special stages for the classic series, like, period. They're easy to, like, play through. They're not super challenging, but they can give you a difficult time if you're not careful. And most importantly, they're not, like, super heavy on super memorization. I mean, yes, it's nice to know where you're supposed to be going, but you don't really have to. And that's awesome. And I might want to say the music is freaking awesome in this game. The Special Stages music is awesome. This whole game is just awesome. I can't recommend this one enough. If you're going to play a Sonic game, play this one. Ironically enough, it's two Sonic games, which I might as well get into now. So th Sonic 3 Knuckles, bleh. Kind of an odd title to have for a game. Why is it so odd? It's because it's originally two games. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Sonic and & Knuckles which were both released in the same year, in 1994, Sonic 3 first and Sonic and & Knuckles. Sonic 3 had a save feature, Sonic & Knuckles did not. The way it worked is Sonic & Knuckles had a lock-on feature, and you could put Sonic's 1, 2, and 3 in it to get different re features as a result of which game you put in there. In Sonic 1, you got the entirety of those special stages, like, there's like a million different ones that you can get with Sonic 1. You can plug any other cartridge, like Genesis game in there, and you get one game, like one of the Blue Sphere games, but Plug in Sonic 1 and you get like a million, it's crazy. Sonic 2 you can play as Knuckles, which is that character you just saw. The red one, the Echidna. You can play as him in Sonic 2, which can get you new areas and you can get Super Knuckles, stuff like that. Um, but Sonic 3 is a special case because Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles were originally meant to be one game. By the way, this is a special stage. You hit goal checkpoints, you get to certain special stages depending on your ring count. This is a casino one. But anyway, Sonic 3 Knuckles was originally meant to be one game, which is why they had a lock-on, because Sonic 3 was its own game and Sonic as Knuckles was its own. But they both, like, have the same story, they both can, it's a continuation of each other. Same gameplay, same graphics, same music, style, not same music, that'd be horrible. Except you have a save feature for all of Sonic 3 and Sonic Knuckles, so you can go through all the zones together. And you could play as Tails through Sonic & Knuckles th through Sonic 3 & Knuckles. So, yeah, it's pretty much one game, but like two parts to it, so essentially it's old-school DLC. But awesome. Because it's awesome DLC. By the way, this is showing us the mini-boss of this level. For every act, there is a mini-boss or a level boss, depending on which act. Act 1 has a mini-boss, Act 2 has a regular boss against Dr. Robotnik in most cases. And uh, yet again, another special ring. There's actually four in Angel Island Zone, which is the first level, which is not a green named zone. It's green, but it's not like Emerald or Green Hill. 
And yeah, the jungle just went in fire because that giant machine lit everything and made us sad because the scenery's dying. Poor scenery. But yeah, there are four possibilities to get Chaos Emeralds in Angel Island. In the next zone, there's, I think, three? Three from my recollection, or... Yeah, I think it's three. Yeah, th yeah, there's three. At least three, but there's so many alternate paths in this game, it's possible I've missed a few. And by a few, I mean a lot, because I know there's quite a few in the Sonic and Knuckles half of the game that I don't know the whereabouts of. But I know the Sonic 3 half of this game pretty darn well. The Sonic and Knuckles I'm a little shaky on. Y obviously, like, I played through a couple of times from the save files, you can see that, but... You know, I'm still shaky on mostly just the special stages, because... The Sonic and Knuckles version of these special stages are rather difficult if you're not used to good timing, which kind of sucks. But yeah, we got the second Chaos Emerald. Only need five more, and of course, that means Super Sonic. But there's a catch to it we'll get into once we actually get Super Sonic. And now the music's actually changed for the act, because each act has its own music, but when the jungle combusts, Thanks to that mini boss, it actually automatically changes to Act 2's music. So yeah, you get a bigger variety of music this time around, which is really nice because Sonic 3 Knuckles has an amazing soundtrack. Like all the tracks in here are really fun to listen to and whatnot. There's literally not one thing I complain about and can complain about for this game. I can understand why people don't like Sonic games based on their platforming or whatever, but to me this is a really just great platformer. If you're not into Sonic games, definitely try this one out. It is definitely, in my opinion, the best in the series, and of course, I said, my favorite game of all time, so... Has to be doing something right for me to call that, right? And this is an ele elemental shield, bleh. There's three types. There's a fire shield right here, the bubble shield, which lets you breathe underwater, and the electric shield, which gives you a double jump and attracts rings. Fire shield lets you do a fire dash, and also prevent protects you from fire, water protects you from some attacks, and electric prevents you from getting attacked by lightning. Which only happens in, like, one or two levels. Very rare. And yeah, the checkpoint fell, and if it hits a certain spot in the area, the boss died, it can give you an item. This is a bubble shield, lets you do a bubble attack, as well as breathing underwater, which is really handy for the next zone. And guess what? Another special stage. Yeah, this is gonna turn out to be like Sonic 2, where a whole bunch of special stages right off the bat. But the best part is, I, there is no excuse for me to really abuse Super Sonic this time. Except for the fact that I like Super Sonic because of the way you transform into Supersonic, which, again, we'll be getting into later. Gosh, there's so much stuff to talk about here. It's because I love this game so much, I can't give it anything but praise. And, um, yeah, like I said the way back, like, a couple minutes ago, um, two games originally, but, um, in Sonic 3 alone, you couldn't play as Knuckles, which was odd because he looked playable. But if you connect, um, Sonic 3 to Sonic and Knuckles, you can, of course, play as Knuckles through all Sonic 3. And, like I said, Tails, he actually was not even in Sonic and Knuckles. Not at all. Like, when you picked Sonic for Sonic and Knuckles, no Tails was with you. At all. So, the only way to play as both Tails in Sonic and Knuckles and Knuckles in Sonic 3 is to connect them together. And for that, you get this huge game. Like, this is, game is ridiculously huge compared to 1 and 2. Because of all the zones and all of the... Oh, gosh got way too fast. Way, way too fast. Especially they just pick up speed after a while. But yeah, this, this game as a whole is so amazing. And you may be asking yourself, well, if you're gonna play it, how can you play it? Because it's two games, right? Like on a modern day console. Well, that's where the tricky part comes in. I'm playing this off the Mega Collection, which was for GameCube, the PS2, and the three, not 360, there's regular Xbox versions were the plus version, but still had this game. Except, you had to play through, like, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. Well, not play through them, but just play them 20 times. And what I did for that was I just, um, started the game, then exited out of it, and then went back to the main menu, and then played it again, just to do that 20 times. And that's how I got Sonic 3 Knuckles. Um, I believe you can download an Xbox. I'm not sure I don't have one, but, um, you can download both Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles separately, but if you have them both, it does that lock-on technology thing, and you can play it as Sonic 3 Knuckles, I believe. I'm not entirely sure. Sadly, PlayStation doesn't have a version of this, and actually I believe the Wii ha also has 
a version of this, so you can play it in the Wii. Again, you have to buy both Sonic 3 and Sonic & Knuckles separately, but... Hey, you're getting a huge freaking game, so don't complain. And Electric Shield, which we'll sadly be losing here because we're gonna go down this path for another Chaos Emerald. Yeah, I kind of know where all the Emeralds are at to get them the quickest. So I don't have to worry about it later. More for my benefactor than anyone else's. Free life! Yay! And yeah, we're gonna fall in the spikes. Oops. And over here to the right is another special stage. And boom, right in there. I really like how special stages are based on you finding them in the levels, not, oh, you have to have 50 rings. Because that gets annoying, because you have to be so paranoid about not getting hit, and then when you get hit, you just get so angered by it. You see, in this game, I don't feel really frustrated when I get hit by an enemy. It's like, oh, okay, I lost my rings. Big deal. I don't get a free life anytime soon. But no, in Sonic 1 and Sonic 2, I always get so mad whenever that happens, because it's like, ah, I don't, just lost a chance to get a Chaos Emerald. That's one of the main reasons I don't go back to play Sonic 1 and 2, is I do this game, because I always like to go for 100% run when I play through the Sonic games, because I like the better ending. But in Sonic 1 and 2, it's just so much more difficult to get the special stages, it's just, like, really? You don't have nearly as many chances in those games as you do here, you have so many chances. And it just makes it better. Oh, goodness. I thought I just screwed that up. Okay. Whew. Yay, fourth time roll down. And this level pattern reminds me of candy canes in Christmas for some reason. Can't imagine why. Probably not the red and white in the floor or anything. Goodness, no. And, wow, we're already up to 11 minutes in the first level of the game. Once we get all the emeralds, it'll go by pretty quick, all of those zones. Because I know the shortcuts. Somewhat. And of course, a handy dandy spin bash, spin bash, spin dash from Sonic 2 is back, and Sonic CD. And it is really useful again. Oh man, I fell. Oops. Oh well. Climbing up the waterfall. I always thought that effect was so cool as a kid, the little blocks coming out of the waterfall. I don't know, I just thought it was really freaking neat. The damn graphics are amazing, I tell ya! And bubble shield. I, um, personally my favorite shield is Electric Shield because it draws in rings, and the double jump's just awesome. And there's actually a Fire Shield up here we will need for the boss. Because we're coming up to the boss of Angel Island. And it's, um, oh, I was gonna go through a special stage, but it wouldn't have mattered because you need 40 rings. Oh. Well, I'm stuck. That's a problem. Eh, no, go, let me go the other way. Physics? And actually, the physics, compared to Sonic 2, are pretty much the same. I mean, they feel just about exactly the same, to be honest. And now we have a giant freaking airship trying to kill us, and it's going to hurt Tails a lot. Because it drops bombs, and he can't have, keep up with us. Bleh. And yeah, he just keeps getting hit and hit and hit. I'm so sorry, Tails. I didn't mean for this to happen, I swear. You're going to be useful in this game, I promise. It actually does become really useful in certain areas because you kind of need him to survive. And in the background, oh, is that Dr. Robotnik? Oh, he is back. Yes, he is. And first boss time. Fire Shield makes quick work of this boss because you knew that, and Tails died already. And yeah, so since the Fire Shield gives you fire immunity, this boss is literally the easiest thing ever, and I just lost my Fire Shield. Oh, the irony. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, thank you, Tails. Help me out there. And there's a capsule up there. We have to jump into it. And, yeah. I believe that will wrap up the first episode of Let's Play Sonic 3 Knuckles. Next time, we are heading off into a new zone, which we'll see through a cutscene here. Yeah, there's transitions between levels. That's awesome. Knuckles drops the switch, and we're in the next zone. So, yeah. This is going to be a lot of fun. I really do love this game. So, yeah. Until next time, this is New Age Classic Gamer signing off. Hope you enjoyed this. Take care.